Hello everyone, welcome back to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the doggy coins. If you followed my previous video, you must already got your Oracle Cloud Platforms account. You must already spin up some free virtual private server on your account. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to spin up a Windows V virtual private server in Oracle Cloud Platform and use 400 Canadian dollars credit under your account to do DoggyCon mining. We are going to install DoggyCon wallet into your Windows VPS. We're going to use in mining program on Mineable to do DoggyCon mining. Let's start it. So first thing, let's create uh, our Windows instance. As you can see, I logged into my Oracle Cloud Platforms account. Right now I have two always free Linux VPS has been created. Now I'm gonna create the Windows VPS to do DoggyCon mining. So let's name it Win. We're gonna change our image to the Windows image. We are gonna use in server 2019 standard version. You can use 2016 and 2012. Select the image. Here's the important part which also confusing people. Uh, by default, they're gonna let you just one old CPU, but it's possible to use in two CPUs, four, eight, 12, 24. Unfortunately, the maximum you can use is only two old CPU if you choose anything more than two old CPUs, then you will get the error message. I'm going to show you that. Only two old CPUs are available for this kind of uh, testing account. Considerably, this is completely free, so that's a reasonable requirement. What we can do is just change the shape to two old CPU, but anyways, you will get 30 gig memory which is more than enough for us to use. Create. One thing you need to do also after you create the instance, you need to create an in inbound lure to allow RDB port to go into your machine. So click subnet. Add a security list or you can add the default one. Add in ingress lure we're gonna allow source ip any going to port 3389 which is rdp port then we can go back to our instances so windows instance is still provisioning um, once it's done, you will get the initial password from here. At this moment, we only get the public IP. Let's copy that. Default username is also OPC. Once the instance has been provisioned, then you will get the initial password here. We are going to use in MSTSC. Windows Remote Desktop Connection to log in. So after one minute waiting, we will get the initial password here. You can try copy, but uh, it may not let you to copy into the system RTP session. We are trying to RTP to the server's public IP. Since we already opened 3389, it should be able to reach it. Uh, the service may not fully up yet. Let's try it again. Now, now it's good. So 
So we, we cannot paste our copied password in, so we have to manually type it in. The user's password must be changed. So we're going to change it to a complicated password. Now we are able to log in to the system. So it's a Windows 2019. We have two virtual CPU. We call it our OCPUs. And we got the four virtual processors. We have 30 gig RAM here. So far all looks good. We're going to install Google Chrome. Now we need to use in Google Chrome to download the Doggy Kong wallet. So I already downloaded the Google Chrome on my desktop. So I just copy into this RTP sessions, which is easier and faster. One thing we want to check is the hard drive space because once you download in DoggyCom wallet blockchain message and it's going to take more than 100 gig but uh, by default we will get 255 gigabytes hard drive which is more than enough for us. We need to download the wallet. That's our next step. Click Get Started Now. So you see the wallet selection. There's a multi doggy and the doggy con call. Don't download the multi doggy one. That's probably for the mining. The let's uh, doggy con call is the one what we needed. Click the six four bit. You also has the option to download the Android app, the wallet into your Android phone. Finish. There's no problem at all. Now you need to choose where to save your wallet at default data. That's using default directory. Now they're going to generate in your wallet here. Uh, if you backed up your wallet before, now you can copy your wallet.dat file into that like, default folder, just overwrite it. After you close the Doggy Com call wallet program, just override it and reopen it. And then they will open your backed up wallet. So at this moment, it looks like we are connecting to peers. Our transaction is like seven years and 20 weeks behind. It's going to take a very long time to download all those information. But that's, that's not affecting us. So now, now we download the wallet. The next step, you're going to download in our mining programs and starting to do mining. We can set up sending addresses and the receiving addresses. Right now, this is our default receiving address, which we're going to use it for our mining program. 
the mining program there's ton tons of them you can find any but the easiest one to use even without you to create an account that's the one is on mineable mining miner mining program so you don't need to install it it's a it's a just program download it and to run it on zip it first and run it uh, there's a two type one is packed one is unpacked so usually we use the packed program if you do you like using your mining program and then you can use unpacked and then point into your own mining program but for this lab we're just using this packed program to do that so this is a zip file there's a exe file inside it You can unzip it out and put it on your desktop. Double click on it. Then program gonna be launched. On mineable, so this you can click continue. Uh, if you have good GPU card, then you can use the GPU this option to do mining. And for our case, we are just using a VPS in the cloud. We only have C we only can use CPU. GPU won't give you anything here. If you look at your task manager, you won't find your GPU here. So next CPU. Here is the tricky part. You need to choose your doggy coin and then you need to enter your address. That's the public address people are gonna send you in the, send you the money and you will find it in your match receive tab and you will see the one here. If you want to create another one you can just create a new one but this is the one existing in your wallet. So we can just paste in here and then start. So now we are using this VPS a CPU to do mining. In a couple of minutes you will see your hash rate and uh, in one or two days then you will see some balance here. So as you can see the hash rate is 121.46 hash hash rate which is not too bad. We just need to let it run and eventually then in you will get uh, some doggy comms in couple I mean couple weeks probably you will get one. That's pretty much how you can set up your VPS in Oracle Cloud Platform to do mining. All are free, you don't have to pay anything you do have four hundred dollar Canadian dollars for free to use, and you keep monitoring your loss credit before it's used up. Before they gonna charge you from your credit card, just stop your program mining program here. Hopefully, this video can give you some good ideas how to do mining. If you like my video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.